Makenshi Kadish, not Makenshi Dick Cries of Fair Anime. Welcome to another live reaction, a weekly live reaction to Gintama 2017, episode 333, one half of 666. All you fucking devil worshippers out there. Not that that has any relevance, but I thought 333 was kind of interesting, so uh, let's get into this. I actually want to quickly preface this reaction by saying one of my subscribers, Nick Minkin, he recently started live reacting, right? And I, whenever someone, one of my close subs starts live reacting, I do like to promote them every now and then. I did it with Ryan Mac uh, when he was doing live reactions. But he started his live reaction channel with a quadruple reaction to Wolf's Rain, a fucking brilliant uh, anime from 2003 called Wolf's Rain, which I fucking love and it still holds up. He did a quadruple live reaction. He live streams those reactions. So you can watch them live, watch them in the archive afterwards. And they're with the sliver of the sub, so you can sync them. I've linked that in the description box below because I think he fucking generally deserves it. I'm not getting anything out of plugging these people. I just do it because I fucking love what they're doing, right? And no one's touched Wall Strain. No one looks back on Wall Strain. Wall Strain is so lit. I haven't seen people's reaction. Everyone's reacting to Pleb Shown in fucking six, seven years. I haven't had reason to go back to one of those fucking quality greats, right? And now I had that reason because of Wall Strain. So go check out Wall Strain. I think you guys will really dig it. Uh, it's not like I'm not saying it's a masterpiece or anything, but it's certainly a cut above what we get nowadays. So uh, go check that out. But let's get into Gintama 333. Gintama episode 333. Come on. This is the Gogo -Go anime episodes without that bullshit kiss anime intro. Sync it with that. Let's see how this goes, right? I've been tasked with saying Gintama is love, Gotama is love, Gotama is life, or Gintama is love, Gintama is love. At the end of this, if this was a good episode this week. But my boy told. How can you just watch one anime for six, seven years, man? Like, you need variety is a spice of life. Variety is a spice of motherfucking life. Gotta remind us about the serious shit that's gonna go down, man, the final luck. The, the, the viewership for these reactions is definitely. I hope they make that Parasite reference. I hope they fucking do a Parasite reference. Um. The, the the viewership is very low for these comedy arcs, man. I, I really think that there's a viewer drop-off because of the way they've structured this. I genuinely feel that. I think people aren't as interested in this. They're just, they just want that final arc, man. And that hurts. That hurts the comedy, man. That last arc we had was fucking was awesome. Really important that was for that, that, that particular those particular characters' arcs in this show. Oi! Oi! Don't do it, you'll be mince me if you fool me. <laughs> Suicide? I just want to know if I still have the wings to fly. The wings in the intro, right? Oh, what? Precious, don't throw it away. Life, death, and shades. She, my dog. Totally trying to kill someone, right? Yes, that's it. What is this, hardball or some shit? Come here, my now. Shit. There's that formula. Every Gintama joke has a formula now. <laughs> your head looks like a testicle. You know, your head looks like a testicle. No, your head looks like a testicle. Your shades are shade. This shit. And then there's the cutaway joke that they do. Some guy's doing something idiotic. Katsura goes, what the fuck are you doing? Cutbacks. Everyone around him is doing this, this something stupid. And then that joke is repeated over and over. Doesn't that break shades? <laughs> that doesn't break shades. Shinpachi could fall off that building. His glasses wouldn't break. Madam, man. <laughs> the only thing that makes Madao interesting is that he's constantly at rock bottom. If he catches a break, he wouldn't be Madao, right? Oh, one shot. It's over in an instant. Done already. <laughs> he 
He shot too early, man. One and done. Shoot you alone early. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those are the jokes you want, man. Is he a month or right? A pig. Pig looking motherfucker. <laughs> My man thinks he's age of 41. Go to heaven. Oh, wow. Life is precious, don't throw it away. <laughs> He chose the one spot that assassins love. Even assassins have a code, right? They only shoot their mark. <laughs> yep. The people that kill are scumbags like Sension. Targets a woman look after those on the straight and narrow. Quick draw. It was a euphemism. I love it, right? It was euphemism for shooting too early. <laughs> this is the joke. This is a new joke. Stand. Wow. <laughs> My dog is everyone's friend. It's easy to be friends with someone you can look down on fucking constantly, right? I'll be the decoy. How is he going to use that to take us? <laughs> <laughs> this will make him value his life, right? He doesn't want to be involved in all this shit. <laughs> the guy who voices Shimpachi is doing his voice. If he's doing point on a different voice, I think. Look at the sick fucking uh, dick jokes they make it. I lost my rounds. <laughs> the whole gun and dick thing, man. <laughs> you act like that in front of me, son. Slave trader, okay. Human trafficking. Oh, 
Wow. As a brother trying to save his sister. It'd be interesting to see these guys recurring characters in Gintama. Oh, wow. I'm not involved in organized crime, right? I like that. That is just slightly builds upon this universe, right? How embedded they are in this society. Parents have changed completely since then. Never did any rounds to begin with. Oh wow! Thought it was a dude, but it's actually a chick. The sibling. Ichiko. Wow! I love how it. How we know what it is now. Boy, play with us. We just walked into a fucking film, man. Man from nowhere or some shit. Sure. He didn't even realize that Mother was running between buildings and shit. If you kill me, I'd like to see you try. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, saved him. Look at that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a 15 minutes is going to be this segment and the next 15 is going to be a different one I feel it's going to be one of those episodes let's see let's see yup it is ok yeah it's the two part Amen. <laughs> I think Gintama works so well doing sketches, right? Two sketches in one episode. That format's always freaking worked for a thing. Make, trying to make an arc of comedy is mostly hit and miss, right? Cause there's a lot of there's a lot of filler in it, and then you got the punchlines and the jokes. But sketching it is awesome. He landed comfy jobs using a family that was good. Fuck oh, man, it just <sighs> Sasaki man. It just feels so weird, man. We've already seen the conclusion to these guys. Maybe I should find that now. It's pretty exciting. That's one. Good to see him again, I guess. Double miss. You know what? 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 It mean, how, I'll tell you how it feels, right? I'm seeing comedy with characters, one of whom is dead. It makes it, now that we're seeing afterwards, yeah, I know we all know it's all before that shit, right? But it makes it feel like Looney Tunes characters that don't die, no one stays dead, right? The emotional resonance of fucking him, Sasaki, going, right? Now it feels weird, like he can be brought back anytime comedy. I know it's before, but it feels weird, man. <laughs> That's it, though. All the answers can be found in the field. I don't be compared to these people. Cow cow. Are they playing Dynasty Warriors or something? <laughs> yeah. 
VR. Fucking Lord Palmer's body. <laughs> Who's this? Oh wow! Split down the middle, man. What the fuck? And he's he's come out of a what is that? A fruit? A peach? A peach? <laughs> James and the Giant Peach. James died inside the peach and I washed up. <laughs> I really tried a peach with that. Someone sp oh, someone killed him while he was in the peach. It, the peach is split down the middle and he just killed. They tried cutting it open, right, to eat it. And then fucking they kill the guy that's inside it. <laughs> I see what this is going to turn out to be. Harmless. It makes it so obvious, but they don't figure it. He was killed by the old couple when they split the peach. Yeah. Accident. Nice. So what else could it fucking be? He's not split, right? The grin is laundry. <laughs> so big when he's only just born from the pe What? <laughs> Give me that ball. Yeah. Already <laughs> dead when he got the wound. That's a bit far fetched. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> Why would it be one of these three? Onigashima. <laughs> Wasn't that monkey? I love this. This is this is almost a Parody of those detect those cheesy detective dramas, right? Old school ones. Monkeys can't use money. <laughs> dog with a pheasant. How is he even a dog or a pheasant? <laughs> Here we go. Maybe she's the fucking culprit. Toshi. <laughs> Trachea. A dango. <laughs> 
blimps. That's not Kimmy Dango. Okay, pooped out after him. Kimmy Dango. He's completely off Sasaki, man. Praise the elite. <laughs> oh, man. The game is so far away from the truth, man. Praise, Praise mayonnaise. The monkeys grabs the gram. Grabs the grams. The repetition joke happens, right? They keep repeating their lines back and forth, but add something to it. Okay, that's Oscar's gramps. Chage. Who the hell are those things? <laughs> What? <laughs> Was someone trying to get the dog out of him inside him? Oh, he got sheep, man. Wow. None other than himself. The field is <laughs> harsh realities, you watch. The guy is wearing a bandana with a peach on it. Give it down. Two in the sandals. Last one I like. Share I've left. I don't think he's even dead. <laughs> it's gonna be like so. He comes back. I believe in the truth. I found out this evening. You got the moment I was killed part right now. This isn't moment. What? Boss of the Gishima who ate the entire Momotaro by a What? Is this a simulation of a real crime that happened? Or is it just a made up simulation? That was created for these guys to test these guys. Brain tumor? <laughs> It's cause it was just gonna get more, more and more fucking ridiculous from there, man. <laughs> that was a good place to end it. Good time has love, good time has life. That was a good episode. I like that. I think the the mother one felt too short, man. In comparison, they might have been the same length. These so I felt the mother one was a bit too short, man. Watashi. Uh, Alright, uh, people, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter for latest live reaction updates. Those details in the freaking description box below. Please be sure to go check out Cunning Linguist, aka Nick Minkin, his a quadruple live reaction to Wall Street now as well. Click the icon at the bottom right to subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Peace. Oh, we're still going. <laughs>